When we were uh, about ready to drain the oil, we noticed that there was a scratchy noise from the bottom of the car. Speaking of rabbits, mechanics at Germain BMW of Naples found one inside this car. Only NBC2's Gage Golding is local tonight, showing you the hilarious moment caught on camera. Our story tonight takes us back to a normal day last week. The shop here at Germain BMW of Naples was busy. The cars kept coming. But all of that was about to change with what was supposed to be a simple oil change. Yeah, it was a routine service that came in. Kyle was overseeing a younger mechanic on the job. The two were just about to start the oil change when, all of a sudden... We noticed that the scratching noise was coming from in this vicinity. What could it be? A bad part? No. A leak of some sort? I don't think so. A critter cramped up under the car? Now we're on to something. I brought out my phone and I see him and I'm like, oh, he's in the motor mount area. He? Who's he? We found... A bunny. It wasn't until they took apart some of this plastic undercarriage and stuck their hand up that they found the rabbit. Not only was it alive, but it made it the whole way here without anybody even knowing. No, I don't think they had any idea. The running theory is the bunny took refuge up here during last week's cold snap. The heat from the engine and exhaust likely came across as a cozy cove to spend the night. But now that it's made its way here, needs to come out. I started recording and then like I was like I was like when's the right moment to record? The moment couldn't have been more perfect. They got the bunny out, but they were just a hair off. Now this is where things get interesting. <laughs> Another mechanic, Wilton, took off chasing the bunny, diving after it like a linebacker. The hair hauling you-know-what across the garage. We didn't know who was moving faster, the bunny or our employee. I don't know how he caught up with him, because normally, like, a guy like me, I can't keep up, but, like, he, he caught up. He caught up pretty good. After what seemed like 20 seconds of a Tom and Jerry episode, Wilton finally caught the bunny. Both he and his new friend were without a scratch. The bunny was released outside of the door, back into the mulch, and I think he went back to his... Bunny home. Where it will hopefully live happily ever after. Reporting local tonight in East Naples, Gage Golding, NBC2.